right, it's our fourth day on the desert. I don't know if I'm going to put this one big video or just chop it up into four bits, day one, two, three, four on the desert, you know, nothing too exciting, but a bit of uh, scenery, a bit of chit chat, a bit of driving. Out in the middle of the desert with uh, the greenest trees and flowers you've ever seen. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. My eyes weren't really working properly. I couldn't see that. <laughs> Amazing. you got an oncoming car right in front of you and you get some help sometimes. People are telling you, you've got an oncoming car. Yeah, look at that. I have a look at that. Different again, different again. you got to get out here and see it for yourself. Unbelievable. Even just if you're at Bird Zoo or come out for a drive past B or do the drive to Pebble Corner. You don't even need to spend your money on your $200 permit if you just do that. Something to think about. Same as if you're at the other end, you can go out to Dale Housie Springs without that desert pass that's nearly $200. Expensive. Wow, have a look at that, eh? Unbelievable. Every hill I come over, I just go, wow. Mid April, a bit after that. Definitely the easiest desert crossing I've ever seen. Easiest sand driving, sand dunes. Uh, for a lot of it, I was on 23 psi. I've even tested, I've left it in high range, no diff lock. It's just like driving on a dirt road without the stones, you know, smooth dirt road, you know. Um, transmission stays around 80 even in high range um, tried all these different things and it's just absolutely hard packed from the rain and there hasn't been enough vehicles on it to soften it up yet it's really firm not even a little bit firm it's just ridiculous how firm it is it's just really easy driving so we've done straight across the desert we're about 36 k's from big red i think um, so we'll be hitting there in about an hour or so taken you know four days to slowly three nights on the desert no hurry including three or four hours a bit of mechanical work as mentioned in this video or whatever previous videos or the next videos if you watch all the videos you sort of put all the pieces together and you know what's going on where we're at in the workshop with work and information on vehicles and setups and good ideas and bad ideas and carefully you let work on your car type information or out on trips with trip information at the moment the 120 has done 430 casings filling up at Mount Dare and I could have not filled up at Mount Dare um, fuel gauges still on three quarters a few corrugations in places sorry about that fuel gauges still on three quarters stop on top of them and just crawl over them they just rock out look at that view beautiful mm. wow okay this is the wet area it won't be wet but you know typically it gets very wet when it's wet which is why i call it a wet area excited about big red is that big red is that no it's not big red not yet a little bit further yet settle down how much further how much further to big red patience patience we'll be there soon well, it's not a very good sign to a trip when you've got a convoy of uh nine and one's already broken down uh two kilometers west of big red it's an Essen. Uh, it's not my car. It could be the last June before Big Red, eh? What do we go, straight or 
I'll go left side in case there's another car. But good let's see what happens. Straight forward. The right side could be easier and it's all clear behind it. This could, be, the right. this, this could be the last before the last. Yeah, the right thing. That is love the sand. Oh, 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 there's big red. Mate, wait for your view once you get over this one, mate. You'll need to really go and drop something off for sure. Look at that. Beautiful.
That's the one. Beautiful.